Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video we're going to talk about how Windows Phone 7 syncs with Zune desktop software for your computer. Let's take a look. Okay, before getting started, we have to mention that this is not final Windows Phone 7 hardware or software, and this is also not a final version of the Zune interface for Windows Phone synchronization. Just keep that in mind. So let's go through this and see what happens. So it says, it's detected that a Windows phone has been connected. It says, please take a few moments to set up and personalize your phone. If your phone needs an update, this could take a while. So let's see what we can do from here. So click Next and give the phone a name. It says the LG GW910. It's the LG Panther. And we're going to go to Next. Checking for updates. And there should be an update for this particular device. We're running on build 6414 right now. And maybe not. Maybe there isn't a, an update after all. So it says, click collection above to see the media on your computer to sync, drag and drop things to your phone. So what we have now, this is actually Zune version 4.7. What you get right now, if you have Zune, is 4.2. So we've got a new item up here that says phone. And from here, we also have subtaps, music, videos, pictures, and podcasts. So what you can do is sign into your Zune account and you can synchronize various pieces of multimedia with your device. So right now there's just some standard stuff on here. I want to right click and sync this to uh, the LG GW910. And over here it should be synchronizing right now, but perhaps not. Let's see. Go to music. Yep, it's there. So presumably if we take out the LG Panther here and turn it on and go into the Zune application, we should have this new music. Let's take a look. Connected. Okay, so we can't do anything right now. If we so sync complete, kind of get the zoom dots flying around. If we unplug and go into zoom again, here it is. Works like magic. There's the music we just synchronized. Perfect synchronization here with this version of the Zune software. Let's plug it back in and see if there's any other features to explore and the music is playing here. And of course in Windows Phone 7, you can access play controls by hitting volume, and then they pop in from the top. We never actually talked about that in previous Windows Phone 7 videos. So I'm going to plug this in. Connected. And let's go back to the phone here, summary. Here's something interesting. It says, you can sync wirelessly. Keep your phone up to date without having to plug into your computer. Sync it over your home wireless network. Wow, that's going to be awesome uh, with Windows Phone 7. Wireless sync. Keep your phone up to date with your latest multimedia, multimedia without having to plug into a computer. Get started, you'll need to make, some, make sure your phone is turned on and connected to the home wireless network. Use your phone to connect to the network you wish and then refresh below. Wow, let's see if that works. So I'm going to unplug. I'm going to synchronize this or get it connected to my Wi-Fi network and see if I can do wireless sync on Windows Phone. Of course, the Zoom products that have Wi-Fi can do wireless sync, but they're bringing that to Windows Phone, which is great. Let's see. Okay, I'm connected via Wi-Fi with the Panther here. It doesn't look like the phone is showing up here in the settings, but while we're in the settings, let's look at these other options. So we have sync options. This is the phone settings. We can choose what is synced, music, videos, pictures, or podcast. We have sync groups, so you can determine which folders are synchronizing. You can name your phone. You can link. Hmm, your device is incompatible with this feature. I'm curious to see what linking is. Update, this is where you go. Uh, to see if there is an update. And of course, you need to plug in the phone to get an update, so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, just detected the phone. It's checking for updates. Can't check for updates right now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, wireless sync, this is where you set it up. Set up wireless sync. We'll go back to that in a second. Let's see what else we have. Pictures and video. You can change the settings for the image quality. Conversion settings for audio, reserved space, and error reporting. Let's try this wireless sync one more time. So set up wireless sync. Your phone is connected to, uh, that's the name of my network. Perfect. Next. OK. Wow, wireless sync setup is complete. Really? So I'm going to unplug the phone and see if this wireless sync actually works. So I'm going to go back here, try to synchronize another uh, piece of multimedia with the phone. So I'm going to just try to right click on this and sync with LG. 
And, hmm. Well, perhaps that feature is not working in this particular build, or at least I'm not doing it right. So that was just a quick look at the Zune integration with Windows Phone. There will be a new version of Zune when Windows Phone is released. From there, you can synchronize your multimedia, you can manage your phone all from that familiar Zune interface. You can also do wireless sync, which is really fantastic. And the device works just like a Zune, kind of like a Zune HD. Uh, to be exact, and playback is fantastic. You get the beautiful Zune interface, and you can manage multimedia right from your device. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. That's it for now.